Here's the capital. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> bacon and butter it's here in tahoe park a little neighborhood in sacramento we love this place we waited hours to eat here before so let's go inside and see what food we get into we got two plates to start because we couldn't decide we wanted something sweet and something savory so this here is the peach and pecan french toast looks delicious smells even better than it looks. Comes with like candied pecans and brioche bun, whipped cream, strudel. Okay, I'm gonna take the first bite because I love all the sweets more than Joseph does. Okay, I'm gonna get everything on there. Whipped cream, a peach, some syrup. Okay, it's good. The French toast is like out of this world. It's not your average French toast. I feel like it's more crushed up in the strudel, the pecans. So the syrup is super warm when you get it. So when you pour it on top, it melts the whipped cream, melts everything together. All the flavors really elevate each other to make this beautiful French toast. Oh my God, I love it. It's like amazing. from a local coffee shop, Camila Roasters, and here in Sacramento. So if you need a coffee at Bacon and Butter, make sure to order one, because it's delicious. Like I said, me and Joseph are sharing, so. Because Gabby this always wants passion. a sweet and savory. I have to, you gotta get best of both worlds in there. One of my last bites. <laughs> so my first bite of the French toast, I haven't had this one before. So we gotta get a little bit of everything. Mm. Tell me that ain't fire. It's like really good. Mm. Nice and creamy, nice soft texture from the bread. And then the peach gives it that nice crisp. Mm -hmm. Lots of different textures. These pecans do add that nice crunch too. I'm very big on textures when it comes to food, so I like feeling all different kinds of feelings in my mouth. Okay. With food. <laughs> <laughs> mm. What do you give that one? I give it a nine and a half out of ten. The syrup is like made of caramel too, I'm pretty sure. So it's like extra sweet but not overly not overly sweet. I don't feel like I'm getting diabetes from this. So yeah. it's not like artificially sweet. This is our usual go-to order, the grilled cheese benedict. So it comes on pala bread, which is my favorite bread of all time. It comes with like the grilled cheese on top. And then two poached eggs. It usually comes with bacon inside, but we replaced it with avocado because we don't eat pork. And then the creamiest, sweetest hollandaise sauce and crispy potatoes. When it comes to this hollandaise, can't be beat. First bite. My favorite item here. Um, nice and buttery and creamy from that hollandaise sauce. You don't really get a Benedict like this in other places, especially on halal bread. Very rare to see that in a breakfast spot, at least 
from what I've seen. So yeah, there's a grilled cheese Benedict because there is that nice toasted cheese on top. So it has that nice crisp on top of the halal bread as well. And yeah, it's just a really good meal. It's a very hearty uh, meal. It's very hearty and it's very big. Yeah. It's very big. <laughs> And you can get potatoes or fruit on the side. We always get potatoes, as we chip. <laughs> the potatoes are always crispy, complements it very well. Yum is delish. The hollandaise is so good, I always put the potatoes on it too. <laughs> this is my last bite of the grilled cheese benedict. Also a very sad bite because it's the last one. I love this thing. 10 out of 10 always. to share with me. Yes, the other the other half is for Gabby. <laughs> yeah. On to Gabby's savory portion. Yes, this is the star of the show, baby. This is why you come here. You gotta get some ketchup for your potatoes. Oh, can I get it out? I need help. <laughs> I need <Yes>. issues. <laughs> Oh my gosh. There we okay. go. All right, like I was saying, the star of the show, why we come here every time, the grilled cheese Benedict. So let's give it a try. Put that whole thing. Whoa. <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> mm. It's been a while since we've had this and never fails. That is so delicious. The bread is super soft, has that crusted, uh, cheese skirt on top. I love that part. Oh yeah, get the yolk. Mm. Yolky. She's yoked up. She is yoked up. This plate, hands down, 10 out of 10. I would get this every single time I come here. Peach pecan, I'll give it a nine out of 10 because it was also delicious. Cool little thing that they do here is that they always give the checks inside of a book. <laughs> if you get this dog book, <laughs> Right here. Right here. Hi. <laughs> Walking over to the Midtown Farmer's Market right now in Sacramento. On yes, I am. 20th and K? Yeah, 20th and K. No, 20th and L. 20th and L and 20th on K, actually. Yes. My favorite flower stand in the farmer's market. These flowers are from Contreras Farm. They're from Moss Beach. They're a family-owned business. They always make such beautiful flowers. Look, custom-made arrangements, people. Joseph's getting himself some waffles. How are you? Yes, please. Sweet, thank you so much. Enjoy. All right, got a Dutch waffle, Dutchman Stroot waffle. Little cookie that they sell. Kind of looks like a waffle. Don't know what it really is, but it tastes delicious. And they make them fresh. Make them fresh right in front of you. I just got a small one because we just got done at bacon and butter. Crispy when you bite it, soft when you chew it. So we like to show some B-roll of the cities that we visit and we wanted to show you guys the Capitol Park, but as you can see, it's kind of a mess right now because of the flood and the many monsoon Sacramento had this past couple weeks. Um, and this is the result, Sacramento will rebuild. <laughs> ah, the beautiful rose garden. <laughs>
right, so we came here to Old Seoul. We came to the L Street location. They have a few locations around Sacramento, so it's pretty accessible here. But I love their chai, and it's really awesome that they also support Central America coffee growers because they got a bunch inside that you could buy or even get your coffee from. Um, yeah, I really love it. Let's try it. Oh my god, it's steaming. I think the temperature was like 100 degrees, <laughs> but it was really delicious regardless. I've had a couple chai lattes in my day where it tastes literally like you're eating a candle, but this one is perfect amount of sweetness. I got it with oat milk and they put a little cinnamon on the top. <laughs> Keeps bouncing off. They put a little cinnamon on the top. Also also has a full kitchen so you can get your breakfast and your lunch. They also make all their pastries in house. But yeah, also is a really cool business to support here in Sacramento. And we love it. Brownie. <laughs> is it good? Moist. Has like a fudge layer on top. Yeah. Easy to bite too. Amazing brownie. <laughs> Great job, old soul. I must try. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, guys, we're here at Pizza Supreme Bing, the absolute best pizza here in Sacramento. We've had pizza in New York City, at Prince Street, at Joe's. This pizza beats all of them. It's a sourdough pizza with a three cheese blend. And this is our go-to whenever we're craving pizza. The owner, Ben, is really cool. Gets to know his customers and always has the best pizza to provide to the people here in Sacramento. Let's do a taste test. The pizza stands up when you're eating it. Doesn't sag down but it has a perfect amount of that pizza grease. Always a 27 out of 10, always. If there's one place you really need to try here in Sacramento, it's this pizza at Pizza Supreme Bean. It's my turn to try some. We've already had it before, so I know I love it. But I added some Parmesan cheese on top and we got some ranch on the side because their ranch is house made and it's delicious. It's different. <laughs> I wasn't a ranch girl before, but I'm a ranch girl now. <laughs> so good. The perfect bite. I've always been a ranch girl, so this ranch is amazing. And like I was saying, it's sourdough pizza, so each bite tastes like a fresh slice of sourdough. And you look forward to the crust because it's some good crust. 27 out of 10. Occasionally they do a specialty pizza. Uh, one of our favorite ones that they did was a mushroom pizza. I had my talking mushrooms, king trumpet, chimichurri, and a, like a garlic cream sauce. That was the best one. I'm going to show it right now in the B-roll. But yeah, follow them on Instagram, Pizza Supreme Bean, and check this place out. My last bite, AKA the saddest bite, sourdough pizza. Ramen Kadaiko, our favorite ramen spot in Sacramento. So this place is really awesome because it's centrally located in Sacramento. It's right across the street from the Doko area, which is right next to the Golden One Center where the Kings play. So if you're ever in, at a concert or at a basketball game, you can always head over because it's super close. It's right on K Street, so it's next to some local bars as well. So if you're into that, you can hit up some ramen and you can get a drink later. It looks a lot smaller than it actually is because it's an underground restaurant and it also has an amazing aesthetic, we love it. And they have really great food that we're excited to show you. The owner actually owns another restaurant here in Sacramento. It's called Crew. It's mainly a sushi restaurant. We'll show you that place in another video. But for now, we're showing you Ramen Kodaika, which sells mostly ramen and other small places. Yeah. Starting out with some karage chicken. If you don't know what it is, it's basically Japanese fried chicken. It comes with a side of yuzu, tahini mayo. Take a first bite. There's also some lemon zest on top. We order this every time we come here. It has a nice umami flavor. Dark meat chicken, so it's nice and juicy. Always crispy. And the lemon zest on top adds a nice acidic touch. Also the mayo, it is like a yuzu base, so it also has a citrusy flavor. And a little spice to it as well. The sauce is creamy, it's acidic, has the lemon zest and the, looks like shichimis on there. That's what the pepper is. Take a look. Okay, good. And it's a great starter to have here when you're at Ramen Kandaiko. Steaming. Nice. 
Another must try here at Ramen Kandaiko is the nori fries. The nori is seaweed and they chop it up and put it on the french fries along with the salt. And the nori flakes really are a game changer on here. And it comes with this side of sauce and it has a sesame. I think there's um, some fish grown here as well. Adds a nice seafood flavor. Mm -hmm. But in the end, we always just dip it in the yuzu mayo. Mm -hmm. So we've never had this before, but we wanted to order it for today. Um, it's called shrimp toast. Looks like it has bonito flakes on it, pupi mayo, green onions, and some salmon roe. Basically it's like panko fried shrimp, and it's like crusted on top of this toast. It looks pretty delicious. Let's give it a go. Mm. This is like an unexpected, really good thing. Really? Yeah. You know you just order something and you don't know if it's going to be good or not, but this is delicious. I'm not sure what bread, bread they use, but it's like lightly toasted and it all works really well together. Mmm. I like this. So our ramen came, which is basically why we're here. It's called Ramen Kodaiko for a reason. So we ordered the shoyu chicken ramen. What shoyu is, is a soy sauce based soup. Usually ramen is pork based, but since we don't eat pork, we always opt for the shoyu option. And here you'll have some noodles. We ordered an extra egg because we love the egg. And then you get two pieces of chicken shashu. And then you get some wakame, so seaweed salad and green onions. Let's give it a try. Some broth first. Mm. You think soy sauce and you think it'd be like super salty, but no, it's very well balanced and it's not very salty. Let's try the noodles. Mm. I gotta bite the egg with the noodles. Mm. That's a good bite. This is one of our favorites. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yummy. Just trying the ramen by itself first. Noodles are always good. Has a nice bite, still al dente. And now uh, the egg. Marinating the egg makes such a huge difference when it comes to eating it in ramen. The chicken's been marinating in the shoyu, <laughs> so it also has a nice saltiness. It's not just gonna be plain and dry. That's a juicy chicken breast. So I give this chicken shoyu ramen like an eight and a half. It is our favorite ramen shop, but it's not just for the ramen, it's for everything that we eat here. So like the karage, that's like a 9.5 out of 10. Fries, also a nine. Trim toast, surprising eight. I wasn't sure if I was actually gonna like that one, but it was like a solid eight. I may be extremely full from lunch, but I had to get this dessert because I've been dreaming about it. I literally have told Joseph I've been craving it for a while, so I'm so happy they have it, and I got to try it today. It's called the Honey Nori Cheesecake. So it's ginger Elizabeth ice cream on a macaroon with sesame powder around it. It's really good. Sounds weird, but... Mm. If you don't like sweet and savory, you might not like this, but that is like my jam, and so it's like the perfect dessert for me. I would give this dessert a 10 out of 10. I know Joseph doesn't agree with me, but it's so unique and it's so light. It's not overly sweet. It's perfect for me. Give it a try if you're ever here. <laughs> I'm eating this macaroon thing too. I've had it before. I don't like it. Let's just give it a go. Maybe try it without the powder and you'll like it. <laughs> Me and Gabby don't always have the same taste. Not to hate this place because I love this place, just not my kind of dessert. All right guys, that's the end of our Sacramento food vlog video. We hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us to some of our favorite spots to eat here in Sacramento. Yeah, and hopefully you guys can try them out if you're ever in the city. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below what you want to see next. All right, bye guys. Bye, and go Kings. Go Warriors.